Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Over the last three months, I've been investing $20 every single day into this high paying monthly dividend stock that has a high dividend yield of around 12.72%. Dividends is when you own shares of a company that pays out dividends, and this company pays out their dividends every single month. These companies pay dividends because they wanna thank you for being an investor into their company, and they kinda want you to reinvest these dividends back into the company to help it grow. But this high yield dividend stock that I invest into is just used for passive income for me. I said all the time that dividend income is by far the easiest way of passive income. Yes, you can own your own business, you can own a car wash, you can own a real estate rental property, but you still have to do something every now and then in order for you to receive passive income that way. But dividend, passive income is truly passive income. You literally wake up in the middle of the night by doing absolutely nothing at all and you're receiving paychecks from these amazing companies. Now, the strategy that I've used where I say I'm investing $20 every single day, that is called dollar cost averaging. That is when you invest into the stock market, um, usually around every single day or once a week or once a month at the same time, no matter what the stock price is, you're just going to continue to dollar cost in on these companies, whether the price is up or down. And history has shows that this is by far the easiest and best way to invest inside of the stock market. People that try to time the stock market usually miss out on amazing days or usually buy in at the wrong time and they end up getting out of the stock market completely just because they see that portfolio go to red. So I've been using the strategy dollar cost averaging on this one dividend stock that would pay me out over $660 in dividends this year alone. Shoot, with that, I could pay off my Netflix account, Disney account, Amazon Prime account. I'm gonna use this passive income to truly pay off some of my bills so that way I could start living my life a little bit more freely. With just $20, I am on track to receive around $660 dollars in the form of dividends this year alone and you can do it too because the strategy is very very simple so make sure that you guys stick out the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information if you guys would want to help me help you hit that subscribe button because that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine and it helps me put out bigger and better content and if you want to go the extra mile go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and follow me over on instagram all right, dreamers, here we are on the high yield dividend stock that I invest into, and that is QYLD. If you want to know exactly how they are able to have such a high dividend yield and why people invest into them, check out this video link right here. It'll explain exactly what QYLD to the T if you want to know exactly what they do. But here we are on QYLD, as you can see, over the last three months, the last three months. Remember, I've been investing into this company for the last three months, $20 a day. Over the last three months, they are down 11.24%. I know what you're saying. Hey, you picked the wrong time to get in, buddy. Your account might not look too pretty. But let me tell you what dollar cost averaging does. It allows you to go in and if you were buying some at 18 and were buying some at 17 and was buying some at 1750, you were able to come in and pick up a couple of shares on their bad days as well, all the way at $15.38. So when it recovers to around $16.43, as you guys can see, I am only down one point. 0.9%. That's right. When the market is down 11%, I'm only down a little under 1.9%, guys. So right now, as you guys can see, I own 99.9 .9 shares. By the time this video come out, I'll have over 100 shares. And my average cost is $16.75. And, and I have $1,642 invested into them. Now, here's the cool thing right here. If we hit QILD, this is when I started. My first order was placed on August 8, 2022 at a price of $18.48. And right now, with me investing $20 on these up days and $20 on these down days, right here on the left side is my average price is $16.64. And on the right, it is a uh, QYLD is at $16.43. It's this current price. So I was able to lower my dollars cost average from $18.48 all the way down to $16.64. So if it continues to recover over the next couple of years, 
I will be back in the green and that is the power of dollar cost averaging. Now I know what you guys are asking, how much am I making in dividends from around 100 shares? So if we scroll down, you can see that se sector and that top 10 holdings, but, but unfortunately on Robinhood, they do not show their dividend yield for some reason. But, but let me show you guys how you can set up your reoccurring buying. You wanna hit trade at the bottom right, you wanna hit buy. And at the top right, you wanna hit that drop down button and then hit re and current investments. Once you click that, you can set it for every market day, Monday through Friday, which is what I do. You can set it for every Monday of the week, every two weeks or once a month. So once you choose your investing style on how you want to use your dollar cost average strategy, um, you put in how much you want to invest. Me, I put in 20, but you could put in any amount that you want to. And that's how you set up your reoccurring investment. Now I know what you guys are saying. How much am I making in dividends from almost 100 shares? Let's go ahead and scroll down and click on my history. Let's hit all types and hit dividends. Here we go. Over the last three months since I started in August, from the first month, I made $3.78. Second month in September, I made $7.10. And then in November, from how many shares do I have in November? 81 shares, I made $13.21 in month of November. Just from 81 shares. Right now, as you guys can see, I have 99 shares. I'm going to hit 100 shares soon. And I'm getting paid out around 16 cents per share that I own. Now, if we switch over to Weeble, it'll give me a more detailed look on how I am on pace to make around $660 in the form of dividends this calendar year. Okay, here we are on Weeble. If we want to hit this drop down button, it'll give us all of the information that we need. Weeble is such a better platform. If you want to check that out, I'm going to leave that link down in the description. If you sign up, deposit any amount of money, you can deposit one penny if you want to. You will receive 15 free shares. Those 15 free shares are going to be valued up to $15,000. With those free shares, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those free shares and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on that amazing opportunity so once again this information that we're receiving from Weibo right here shows the dividend yield of 12.72 percent right here and if we look to the left of that it's going to show that we're going to receive two dollars and eight cents from every share that we own of qyld so if we pull out our handy dandy calculator, $20 a day times five days a week is $100 a week times 52 weeks in a year. I'm investing around $5,200 into the stock market every single year. That is amazing, guys. That is a lot of money. That is a good amount of money to be investing inside of the stock market. So with the share price being um, $16.40, at the end of the year with $20 a day, I will have around 317 shares. And remember they're paying out $2.08 a share. So you multiply that by $2.08. At the end of the year, I should make around $660 in the form of dividends, or that is, or that's around $55 a month. With that, once again, I could pay off a lot of my reoccurring bills with my dividend income. Now, this is how you set up the reoccurring buying over on Weeble. Remember, I'm, I'm going to make around $660 this year in the form of dividends by doing absolutely nothing at all. If you guys want to use the strategy yourself, you want to hit the, the bottom. At the bottom right, there's three dots. You want to click that and then there's a button called reincurring investments you want to click that and then you can set in any amount of money that you want to you can set it five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars twenty five dollars two hundred dollars you can set up any amount that you want but as you guys can see with just twenty dollars i will make around six hundred and sixty dollars in dividends every single year now you can use robin hood you can use weeble or you can use moomoo Moo down in the description you sign up for that one you'll receive 15 free shares from that one with my special link down in the description um guys do not miss out on those opportunities that's an easy very easy way to get started with your dividend portfolio now me personally i'm going to use a little bit for my netflix amazon bills but i am planning on reinvesting my dividends because if you reinvest your dividend 660 dollars if you reinvest that back into the company you will make well well over 660 dollars in dividends every single year um, because of the compound interest effect, the snowball effect. So if you guys do want to take your monthly income in the form of dividends and reinvest it back into um, QYLD to have a bigger payment out next month, you could do that as well. And that is a very smart strategy that you guys could use. And there we go, dreamers. Dollar cost averaging is probably my favorite way to invest. In fact, it's probably the smartest way to invest. If you guys want to invest into the stock market, you find yourself a low cost ETF like SPY, VR, o q q q and you set up a reincurring investment into those low-cost etfs because historically speaking 
the stock market usually goes up six to eight percent when you average out the last 30 years it goes up around six to eight percent every single year so if you if you're a dollar cost averaging and you're not trying to time the market and you're hands off you don't have time to do all the research on these different companies you find you a low cost etf and you dollar cost average and you reoccurring invest into those ETFs, but me, <laughs> you, I wanted that passive income. I got some bills I need to pay off. I need my Netflix to be free. I need my Disney to be free. And I'm going to use that dividend income to help pay off some of those bills uh, so that I can enjoy life a little bit more freely. So let me know down in the comment section, is dollar cost averaging a strategy that you plan on using? Have you already been using it? Or let me know down in the comment section, what other strategies have you been using before in order to generate some passive income inside of your dividend paying portfolio? Do you try to time the market? Have you been successful at timing the market? And if you have, hey, you know, kind of drop me a tip down in the comment section and let me know, guys. But yeah, guys, don't pass up on free stocks. Those links and my special links are down in the description. If you guys want to pick up the maximum amount of free stocks, use my links down in the description. Um, if you guys do want to join my Patreon, my Patreon to take to my Discord, that link is going to be down in the comment section. Um, inside of my Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell the stocks. I post all of my option trades, my swing trades, my technical analysis. And we also have pro day traders in there that post their day trades every single day. So if you want to be a part of a community of investors that want to be financially free, just like you, go ahead and check out the link down in the comment section. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and go and follow and go and follow me over on Instagram. Some great things is happening over there. Other than that, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.